Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you the different options we get when we try to apply a, an external load um, to our simulation uh, model. So in this case, what I'm going to do, uh, I've got an L bracket over here, so I'll just go to my external loads and apply a force. Now, a couple of options we get. So let's say if I wanted to apply a force on this face. So I select that face and you notice this uh, uh, box gets highlighted with the uh, face one. So under face one, you'll see a couple, two different options. Uh, by default, we have uh, normal selected too. So if you select this face, um, the force is going to be acting uh, normal to that face, more like it's going to be acting perpendicular to that face. So if I apply a value of about 1,000 thousand newtons, um, what this is telling me is uh, I am pushing this face inwards with a 1,000 newton force. <laughs> Now, let's say if that's not the direction that I want. I wanted to either go up or down or do a combination of a couple of different things. Um, we do that by undoing the normal to, um, and then I'll just select the selected direction option. And now under selected direction option, you notice a new box pops up. And if I hover over the box, it's going to tell you, hey, either I can select a face, an edge, or a plane for direction. Awesome. Let's try all those different things. So let's start with an edge. So now let's say if I wanted to select an edge for this direction, I can just go over my model and like click one of these edges. The option that I get in that case is just one directional. So either I can apply a thousand Newton force upwards or I can apply a thousand Newton force downwards just by reversing the direction. So that's, all, that's the only option I get. Whereas if I wanted to go side to side and all that stuff, I don't get that option if I select the edge. However, now if I undo this edge, so I'm going to right click and I say clear selections and instead of the edge, I go ahead and I select any one of the planes. Um, let's say if I want to select the um, top plane. So I select the top plane and now you notice I have three different options under that top plane. So I got plane direction, along plane direction one, along plane direction two, and perpendicular to, uh, to, to that plane. So in order to activate any of this, all you have to do is you have to click on that particular direction and it activates that particular um, direction of the force. So let's say in this case, if I don't want to apply the normal to that face that we had in the normal uh, to option, I want it to go perpendicular to the face. So uh, I want to go up and down. In this case, what I can do is that I can activate the normal to plane option and now you notice I get the option for up and down. If I wanted to activate another uh, force along uh, along one of the other directions along the planes. What I can do is I can activate a second uh, um, um, second force that's along plane, plane direction two, and now I can give it a different value or the same value, whatever you need. Um, so let's say if I type in 500 newtons over there. So what that's telling me is there's about a thousand newton force acting on the face downwards, and then there's about 500 newtons acting on that face going from left to right. So just like that, I'm able to apply a couple of different forces using the same um, exact face selection and uh, um, and the direction selection. So be um, be aware of if you just want one direction or two directions. Um, you know, of course, selecting the plane gives you all these different options. And if I wanted to undo this plane, and if I wanted to just select this face again for direction, I still get. Um, my different, uh, uh, the three different uh, directions along the uh, along the face that I can activate and um, you know apply a force. But just be careful those uh, if those arrows are in going in the correct direction or going in a different direction because you want to make sure that um, uh, uh, over here in the model you're applying forces that are actually acting on them and uh, acting on those face in the real world. So um, the closer you can get to the real world scenario, the closer your uh, results are going to be. So another thing that I would like to mention here, over here is uh, if you are using the selected direction option for the direction of force, um, for the direction, um, I always use the front plane. And the reason why I always use the front plane is because what SOLIDWORKS simulation does is if you use the front plane, then your forces, the different direction, the plane direction one, the plane direction two, and the perpendicular direction, they, they are basically your X direction, Y direction, and the Z direction. So uh, if you notice the triad is right here, and if you notice the symbol is going in the X, X axis, and we've got the Y axis force, and then we've got the perpendicular force, which is uh, basically the Z axis.
So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.